Hello! Today I thought I would make another video just a little bit about some pre-Christian views because many people have difficulty understanding how the Germanic people viewed the world before Christianity. We have had about a thousand years of Abrahamic brainwashing. To our pagan ancestors, the world was not black and white. That is a complete Abrahamic Christian mind view that was forced upon us under threat of death. If you would ask a pre-Christian Germanic pagan, for example, I will use Thunar because today is Thor's day. So, is Thunar real? They would say yes, of course. If you ask them, is Thunar a symbol? They would say yes, he is a symbol. Can you, if you ask, can you talk to Thunar? They would say yes, you can talk to Thunar. If you said, when you talk to Thunar, does he listen and hear you? They would say, yes, he listens and he hears you. If you said, if you are connecting to Thunar, are you connecting to a symbol? And they would say, yes, you are connecting to a symbol. If you said, if you are connecting to Thunar, are you connecting to an energy? They would say, yes, you are connecting to energy. If you ask them, if you are connecting to Thunar, are you connecting with a deity? Like, like a deity, they would say, yes, you are connecting with a deity. Is, if you said, is Thunar just a symbol of nature? They would say, yes, he is a symbol of nature. It is, to, to the pagan ancestors, the dream world, your imagination, and the physical waking world, when you're not, a, not daydreaming and you're not asleep and you're awake and conscious, there was no difference. You can manifest and have it created in the physical waking world. This is how our ancestors viewed the world, and not just our ancestors, everyone. You look at the Hindus, you look at the Dalist in China, all over, anywhere you look at a pre-Christian view before Abrahamic religions that are not affected by Abrahamic religions, they all have the common views like that. Because that is natural human programming. You know, our Germanics have our own energy vibe and we have our own natural human programming. Just like the Chinese had their own and everybody has their own. The Africans had their own, you know, everyone has their own natural human programming. But the basis of it is common because it is natural. It is, this is not some Jesus myth that was created and written and people are saying it is fact. This is not at all how this works. It's about energy. Just like the soul, the electric pulse in your body that we now measure with science, that is proof that we have energy inside of us. And, you know, it is all these natural, it doesn't matter which one it is, every race, ethnicity, had their natural uh, energy practices, their natural programming to accomplish what they wanted to accomplish in their lives. An example of uh, this message of energy in the sagas is Thunar and his belt and his gloves and his hammer. I mean, Thunar's belt, without it, he loses half of his power, half of his energy. He has gloves, without them, he cannot lift his hammer. His hammer is what? His hammer is the, is the lightning, right? Makes the lightning. So he cannot make the lightning without his gloves and his belt and all that, his belt is not to hold up his pants. His belt, like if you look at the Dallas Chinese, they wear sashes. And most martial arts that have to do with energy, 
that has to do with paganism, like their own paganism. And they understand that the energy, like when you're in your mother's belly, comes through the umbilical cord, the belly button. So you want to wear the sash, like our Germanic and all European pre-Christian ancestors would wear a sash belt around where? The belly button, around higher, not low on our hips like we do today in this modern world. Today we wear a belt for lifting our pants up. Our ancestors would wear a belt to keep the energy inside, to keep, to, to support, give support and warmth to your belly button area where your energy comes from. And then the gloves, the iron gloves. Well, iron is a conductor, so he needs those to, con to, to connect with the, to conduct the energy through the gloves into monia, his hammer. And also, the gloves are also symbolized of the energy going out the hands. If you know anything about martial arts and energy work that they do and that kind of thing, you know, the energy goes in belly button and the energy also goes through the palms of your hands. So there again, these gloves are also a symbol of how energy flows in the human body. It flows through the belly button, so you have the belt, and it also flows through the hands, so you have the gloves. And with these things, he can lift up the hammer and he has uh, all that energy and power and he can create lightning and all that kind of thing. I mean, I think the Hindus called it Kundalini and the uh, Dallas in China or whatever, they called it uh, Qigong. And uh, it's all just natural paganism energy work. Every single human race has their own energy work that they are naturally programmed with. And all this is hidden in the sagas, the secret stories that all the different uh, races came up with. You got the Germanics, you got the Celtic, you have the Dallas, you have the Hindu, you have all these different natural programming for the different ethnicities of the world. And we are programmed this way so we can use these energies to benefit ourselves and our lives and accomplish what we want to in our lives. So you can be like the gods. So you are connecting with the energy of the gods. When you are connecting with any of the deities and gods, they each have their own energy about them. And you are connecting with that energy and empowering it within yourself because we all have that energy also within ourselves. And we are awakening it. We awaken the part of us that is Odin, the part of us that is Thor, the part of us that is Frigga and Frey and Freyr and Baldur and all that. They're all different energies and they are all in us and a part of us. And we awaken that when we connect with them and do energy work. And it also, it's way easier to connect with the gods when you do energy work because it is... It, it, how can I say that? It, it destroys your doubt. When you do the rituals and you do the energy work, your doubt goes away and you know for a fact that the gods are real because you feel it within yourself. You see your life actually changing. The things that you manifest when you're doing the rituals and connecting with the energy and of the gods and the deities and out of the blue, after you're doing these things, you will see it actually happening in your life. Things will start to come together, the things that you're doing ritual for, and it just all works out when you actually do the energy work to empower yourself, to connect with the energies that are within you and are also out there. The, the, the gods are within you, they are energy, and they're also like the stars. They're also their own entity. They are... They are us, we are the gods, but they are at the same time their own energy and entity. It, this is not black and white like Christianity where there is God and humans and that is it. It is not like that at all. You have to completely remove that kind of thinking because that is brainwashed garbage from the Abrahamic religions, the Jews, the Muslims and the Christians. It is just, it's poison thinking and... Look at the horrible world we live in since we allowed these Abrahamic religions to spread like cancer and take over our world. Well, that is all about this short video about the pre-Christian ideas and views that our ancestors had. 
how they viewed paganism because it is you know, most people who are interested in paganism feel that connection they are interested in it and they want to learn about it which of course you will it is in your blood it is your natural human programming in your dna you cannot you know it is in you no matter what i don't care how long you've been a christian or a jew or a muslim you have that natural ethnic programming in your blood in your dna and you will always be called to it and when you finally learn the correct way to view the sagas and understand what it is really about and what they are representing in the sagas and that they are myths to learn from and look at it the way your ancestors would have looked at it not the way a christian would like loki is a trickster not a devil there is no devil there's nothing evil in any of the sagas or anything to do with our pre uh, christian views because we knew that we are creating everything us and the gods and the gods through us and within us all energy just like i said they call us star worshipers well that is because the stars are what pure energy it is the same essence that your soul is made out of that energy the same as the gods the same as the stars it is all energy well that is my little video here for thuna's tag thuna's day Donos Tag, wir sagen auf Deutsch. And uh, I know it is hard and difficult when you have not been raised with this kind of mind view. And almost nobody today has been raised with this kind of view. Unless you are maybe a Hindu or something, or if you are like me, a Germanic pagan who had family who continued the view. Of course, I was also raised with the Christian view also, so I have both views. I understand completely how the Christians think, and I understand completely how the pagans think. The real pagans, not the people who are just trying to recreate it, and they take Christianity mindset, and then they transform the gods over to that, and, oh, it is it is such a mess. It'll take probably another thousand years before, when paganism, as it is coming back, it'll probably be another thousand years before we actually figure it out and get it correct the way I'm speaking about it on these books or on these videos because almost everything you see out there is just a Christian view of paganism and that is why I make these videos because <laughs> I, I, I just I don't know I guess it is doing my little part to get the, the correct pre-Christian view alive again because it is almost completely dead Thankfully, all over Germany, there are pagan Volkish villages setting up, and yeah, they, you know, they, they have, or many of them have this pre-Christian view passed down for thousands of years to them, and like my family, they did not completely convert to Christianity, maybe in public, so you could do business, and so they wouldn't kill you, but they kept the pre-Christian views and practices at home and private alive, so they did not completely lose it. But most people nowadays who are interested in paganism are very lost. And there is so much misinformation from scholars and Christians and all that. And people who were Christians but are trying to create paganism again with this Christian mentality. And it is one big mess. And these videos are simply my part to try and open up the pre-Christian view rather than just pasting over the Christian view with different gods and names from our pagan ancestors. Well, that will be all for this short video. Tschüss.